Hello, welcome to Retail Independent. I'm your host, Zyra Mohan. I'm the Senior Manager of Business Development with Collier's International Retail Services Group. Today, we are speaking with the co-founder and CEO of the fast casual Indian restaurant and food truck chain, Curry Up Now, Mr. Akash Kapoor. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thank so you. I understand you founded Curry Up Now in 2009 uh, mm -hmm. with you and your wife. Correct. And what sparked that ambition for your food truck mission? It, there was really no ambition. It was just, let's let's do this as an experiment. Um, we, we tried it. It worked. Um, and, you know, earlier that year, we kind of, uh, uh, a friend of ours, you know, gave us some insight into into the food truck industry and, and we kind of researched it a little bit and it, that was it was just that and then summer barbecue we kind of made the food one night and and two weeks later uh, we rented a food truck for our daughter's birthday and, and we served food to 200 people and it just felt right and everything kind of fell into place there was no there was no planning there was no business modeling there was no nothing it was just that was it it was you know two weeks two weeks two weeks and we had a truck and two weeks later we had we were on the streets Incredible. How many people does your food truck serve? Um, I mean, depends, right? So if we go to music festivals, we'll, we'll do thousands in a day. Our food's very quick, um, the way we do it on a food truck. Um, and even in the restaurants, we'd like to get food to a table within five to eight minutes of when you order it. So again, food truck mentality. Um, our, our soul is food truck, right? We're, we're in, on the inside, we're a food truck. So then what convinced you to move into brick and mortar? You know, one truck led to two to three to four to five and I'm like if you could do this on a on a truck why can't we do this in a restaurant and you know it was it was 2009 uh, sorry 2010 we started looking for a, for a restaurant like right around like the winter like like holidays and we found a place in January and we opened uh, February and we opened in April it was uh, there was no it was like oh we there's a restaurant we don't have to spend money let's go let's go get it it, it was just like that and, and what type of data analytics are you using to, to grow your brand? You know, uh, we've done some credit card modeling, credit card data, things like that. Uh, I actually spend a lot of time because we're, we're now franchising all over the country. I do more kind of, you know, we look at who our diners are in, you know, who our fans are, our guests are in the Bay Area. And then we try to replicate, okay, how close can we get to this, to this model, you know, let's say in... New Jersey or, 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 or Chicago or whatever, you know, just where can we get as much of the Bay Area as possible? Because that's our comfort. So who is your target market? Well, you are. Um, it's, you know, <clears throat> I, I don't like to, you know, we, I don't like to say, you know, 18 to 55 and, and things like that. Um, you know, my target market is actually a 10 year old kid who, who eats our food um, without asking for the kids menu. That's, that's what makes me happy, all right? That, that's, that tells me we're doing something right. Incredible. So, so how important is sustainability in your brand's culture? It's big, you know, we, in the beginning, everything was, you know, with, with to-go to stuff, you know, our packaging, everything had to be compostable. Um, even though we weren't required and, and they were very expensive back then, products 11 years ago, uh, in that category were very expensive because they weren't used as much. They weren't mandated to be used in a lot of states. Um, and, uh, and the other thing that we've stood by is to have a very clean brand. Um, you know, our, our kids were very young when we, when we started this and, and my wife and I decided if, if we can't feed this to our kids, we're not gonna feed it to the rest of the world. So, you know, we stick with those two things. So those are very important to us. That's great, that's great. Where is Curry Up Now headed to next? hopefully to all 50 states. We are currently in uh, New Jersey and Georgia and in, in Utah, California, obviously. Uh, but yeah, we wanna be, uh, you know, we're, we're actually, we're building a store in Indiana next. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, and that's through our franchising efforts, but also corporate stores are gonna start growing outside of California as well, or, and more within California. So, I mean, and then, you know, we, we, we're working on some international stuff. So it's, there's some exciting stuff going on. That's great. Oh, I'm excited about that. 
And so Akash, I must know, what's your favorite thing on, on your menu? <laughs> my favorite thing is the deconstructed samosa. They're all my little children, so it's hard to say, but the, the deconstructed samosa just stands out. It's, it's a complete kind of, it's me. Uh, it's kind of sweet, spicy, crunchy, um, sour. It's got all the kind of flavor elements and, and all the textures that I like in food. Uh, but it's, you know, classic Indian street food kind of reimagined. Um, God, I hate that word. Um, but it's, you know, it's our way. Um, you know, we, we, we kind of open up this giant samosa and, and we fill it up with some deliciousness and very kind of street food oriented, but it's, it's taken off. It's, it's done very well uh, for us. Sounds divine. Well, Akash, I appreciate your time. And on behalf of myself and everyone at Collier's, we look forward to watching Curry Up Now grow into all 50 states. Thanks for being here. Take care. Thank you so much. <laughs>